Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another Hated video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our next machine, the Cake Oven. So let's get started. I'm just going to send this Wizards away as usual. And I'm going to see... Mm, I'm just going to skip this boat because um, this was a pretty hard boat and I don't have a lot of things. So I'm going to hit my neighborhood. Not in the derby this time, but there's the bunny derby. So I don't know why is this like a glitch when I entered into the game the even board. Oh, well, it just showed I wasn't showing previously So we're having generous town visitors even today, which I'm not a big fan of I mean for me town is normally I get a lot of tools. So It's just like nothing for me All right, so I'm just gonna harvest my crops and my silo is full. Yeah, I've been selling a lot of peanuts and peanuts are the newest bouquets, uh, as you guys said to me. Yeah, that's crazy. That is honestly insane. I can't believe this. Peanuts have actually become the newest bouquets, as you guys said in the comments. I know. There are literally no rustic bouquets in the paper, and there's just like so many peanuts, which I don't know what's going on, but hate it. Oh my god. That is crazy. Peanuts. Okay, can somebody explain to me how this all started? Why people are selling a lot of peanuts? Like, are they trading? Like, I know people used to sell the rustic bouquets because they were trying to master their actual uh, flower shop and also they put this for the advertisements. But I don't know why people started selling peanuts. I mean, of course, it started from one person. So who was the very first person who started this chaos that's currently going on in the game? Why people are selling so many peanuts? I, I think I'll never understand this. But my silo is full, so I am just going to sell a bunch of vegetables. So I have a lot of crazy amount of vegetables. Actually, not crazy. So let's just run. Alright, so I'm going to start the video right here about the cake oven. So I'm going to put the... Alright. So let's just bring the cake oven down here. Um, now this is also a low level machine. So this machine is a good way to make coins. And so let's have a close look at the design of this machine. So having a close look at the design of this machine, this looks like a very basic oven with a whisk and a spoon which is hung on its side and you guys can also sit a small table and there's a kind of a workbench um in front of it and there's a duff and a rolling pin also present and the floor is kind of tiled so a lot of details but the design of this machine is very kind of dull very basic so i'm just not a big fan of this but i must say it's good the mastery of this machine is also unusual, 65 R's for the first star, to 60 R's for the second star, 1040 R's for the last star, and finally, you'll be able to make cakes 15% faster. Awesome. So, this is my cake oven, which is fully master. As you guys can see, there's a big star mat on the table. And I have all the slots open, and I do recommend opening all the slots because there are... Oh my god, 12 cakes in the game. That is a lot. So you have a lot of cakes. Some of them are low-level cakes, while some of them are high-level cakes, So which is cool. And I have a new friend request, which I don't know how I got, but oh well. There we go. And I think I still have one capacity left for somebody to add me. Now, the basic information, this machine unlocks at level 21. It's going to cost you 12,100 coins. Very cheap, right? I mean, it's been a while. I haven't bought the cake and these kind of machines. I bought this machine three years ago, so it's been a long, long time. Oh my gosh. Not even three years ago. Actually, six years ago. Yeah, 2014, I started when I was actually level 1020. So it's been a while, but I know this must be expensive for a little bit, so that's okay, just keeping coins. And it will take one day to be built, and you can open the slots by spending diamonds. Now, before making cakes, four main ingredients that you're always going to need, your eggs, wheat, sugar, and dairy. As you needed sugar and dairy and ice cream, you're going to need the same ingredients in the cake, so make sure you always keep your sugar mill running. Have at least 20 to 30 of sugars, as I always say. So these 
two machines are, I think, the most important machines in the game. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to be starting to buy all the products now one by one. So the first product, we have the Carrot Cake Level 21, going to take 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour and 16 minutes on a fully mastered machine. It's going to need two carrots, one brown sugar, and one butter. Um, simple to make. Uh, the carrots she can always get from the paper. The main problem here is your sugar and butter, so keep your dairy running all the time. The next product is a cream cake, level 23, my favorite. Um, you're gonna need five wheat, one cream, one white sugar. As usual, it's gonna take three hours or two hours and 33 minutes. So, again, it's gonna need sugar and cream, so make sure you guys keep a really good stock of cream and sugar. I'm repeating again and again. Now, this machine won't be a challenge to fully master, it's because Almost all the cakes take an average a long time, so this won't be a problem. You can easily fully master just keep making cakes. I remember I fully mastered my Vogue Kitchen on level 40, so that took me um, 19 levels to fully master. The next also unlocks at level 23, my least favorite cake, which is Red Berry Cake. It only takes one R, R51 minutes on a fully mastered machine. You're going to need one raspberry. Two cherries, a cherries, one milk, and one egg. Not any dairy or sugar products, but you're gonna need a lot of fruits like cherries and raspberry. You're also gonna need eggs and milk. And now let's hope I do have milk. All right, I do have. So I'm just gonna be collecting the milk from my cows. All right, thank you for giving me the dynamite. I'm just gonna feed them all. Okay, that's done. And I'm just gonna put one. So yeah, it's very simple to make. Actually, you can easily make it. It's not a problem, except you have the the fruit. So make sure you have them. The next product is your cheesecake level 24. You're gonna take one cheese and one cookie. It could be a little bit challenging to make for two reasons. Because you're gonna need cookie, which already takes a lot of the time in the bakery. It takes about an hour. And then you're gonna need cheese, which also takes an hour, and it's gonna need one actual um, three milk, which could be, of course, a very big challenge. So it takes a pretty long time, though. If you wanna fully master, this will be helpful as well. I'm just gonna put one. The next is the strawberry cake, level 35. Three wheat, two strawberries, one sugar milk. It's gonna take um, three hours or two hours and 33 minutes. I'm just gonna put one. The next is level 36 chocolate cake, also my favorite. Um, one butter, one brown sugar, and two cacaos. Now cacaos, again, are rare, and I'm, I don't know if I have, but what I'm, oh, I do have a lot of them. I forgot, so I didn't actually see. I'm just gonna harvest them, and I'm gonna be putting one chocolate cake. Um, it takes two hours, or one hundred forty-two minutes in a fully mastered machine. The next is uh, potato feta cake, not the potato, it's potato. One potato, four eggs, and one goat cheese. Kind of simple to make, except you have, it it's gonna need a lot of eggs, and eggs are always my main challenge. Um, I don't have any problem with the goat cheese. So I'm just going to put one. It takes two hours or 142 minutes. The next, we have the honey apple cake, which is very rare, very expensive. It's going to need a lot of difficult ingredients. Well, only honey is the main challenge here. So you're going to need two apples, two eggs, two wheat as usual. But you're going to need honey here. And this will take three hours and 20 minutes or two hours and 15 minutes on a fully mastered machine. This will unlock at level 42. Now we have the fancy cake, which was also added recently in March 2000. 20 update. It's gonna need one cream cake, three raspberries, three peonies, one gold ore, and it's gonna take a very less time, only 15 minutes or 12 minutes on a fully mastered machine. So all the ingredients are okay except the cream cake, which you'll have to make in here. So it's like a pre-made ingredient. So I don't think this will be a challenge. You can keep like five of these. So yeah. And then we have the pineapple cake, which unlocks at level 65. Now we're coming to high level cakes. Three pineapple, four wheat, two eggs, and two cherries. Very simple to make. It's not that hard. All the ingredients are the basic ones. Then we have the lemon cake, which could be challenging to make. It's also very, very expensive. Two lemon curds, one cream, two eggs, and three wheat. Lemon curd, as I talked about in my sauce maker video, that is very rare. So make sure you have plenty of the actual mayonnaise and lemon curd. For that, you're going to need a lot of lemons, of course. And the final cake that we have is the fruit cake, also my favorite. You're going to need a lot of fruits here, so this will be easy to make if you have a lot of fruits. Um, three wheat, 
two oranges, two cherries, and two grapes. It's going to take almost three hours or two hours and 33 minutes. And the lemon cake takes two hours and 30 minutes or two hours and 70 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Now, cakes are a good way to make coins. They are also asked in the boats. So make sure you always have at least five in your barn. I tend to keep about 10 of every cake in my barn. And also, these are a lot of cakes that you'll have to make in the future when you level up in the game. So make sure you also start opening the slots of this machine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calculate the prices of the cakes. They are a good way to make coins. So let's see what cake do we have so we have the cheesecake, which is very hard to make. One for 284 coins and 10 for, I guess, um, 2,844 coins. Not that great way of making coins. Well, actually, it is a good way to make coins. I mean, 3,000 coins are not less. They're okay if you want to sell them, but I never sell this because it's very hard to make. Um, the carrot cake, you can always sell one for 165 coins um, and 10 for 1,656 coins. It's not that expensive. The cream pick is kind of expensive, 10 for 2,196 coins, so this can give you a lot of coins, of course. And then we have, let's see, the chocolate cake, 1 for 320 coins, this will be expensive, and 10 for almost over 3,000 coins, so you can also sell this to make coins. The reason why I'm saying you to sell these products is because... When you're a low-level product, um, I mean when you're a low-level, of course, you can sell everything that you can make in your machines to make coins because at that level coins are the only main problem the xp is not a problem so you can sell but if you're a high level player then you don't have to sell them because you have to save them for your boats and town because those places also give you a lot of xp all right so yeah and then we have the honey apple cake very very expensive and very rare this can give you a lot of coins so if you have these you can sell this to make a lot of coins uh one for 480 Two coins, 10 for over 4,000 coins. All right, let's have a look at the other cakes. So we have the potato feta cake, one for 309 coins, 10 for almost over 3,000 coins. Again, a very good source of making coins. Lemon cake, very, very, oh my God. One for 896 coins. What the? Mm -mm. So... 10 for over 8,000. I think it's expensive in the diamond ring. I don't know. I think one diamond ring goes for 892 coins. God, this product is very expensive. This is also very, very rare. So if you want to sell this, um, it's your choice. But I never sell this. I save this for my town because this can give me a lot of coins. One fruit cake is also very expensive. One for 450 coins. You can sell this because it's easy to make. Always sell those products which you think are kind of easy to make. And 10 for almost 4,500 coins. The fancy cake is also very expensive, one for 450 coins, but I do not recommend selling this because this could be a little bit challenging to make because you're going to need the actual cream cake, which is already made in your cake oven. So, yeah. One pineapple for 259 coins, 10 for almost over 2,000 coins. And let's see if I have any other cakes left to talk about. Oh, we do. Strawberry cake. Um, yeah, the red berry cake, actually a lot of cakes. So I need to talk about the strawberry cake and the red berry cake. So we have the red berry cake, which you can also occasionally find in the paper. So I have seven, one for 255 coins, 10 for almost 2,000 coins. You can sell this, they will go away eventually and they can give you 2,000 coins, which I think is cool. And then we have the strawberry cake, which is also, I think, expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. One for 316 coins, 10 for over 3,000 coins. So all of the cakes are actually a very good way to make coins. As you guys saw, the lemon cake is very expensive. Some of the cakes are average in price, like the, uh, the carrot cake. Some of them are very, very expensive, like the honey apple cake is also very rare. So the choice is always yours. At the end of the day, if you want coins, Cakes are a good way. You can pretty much make a lot of coin, coins with them. And the only thing that you need to remember here is always keep a good stock of sugars, dairy products. Um, make sure you have all the trees planted, cherries, raspberries, and stuff like that because they're going to get used in the game. And I'm just going to harvest my peanuts. So that was it for this machine. I hope I have explained everything and there's nothing left to talk about. This machine will be actually 
easy to fully master. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more machine videos I'll be posting gradually. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.